You walk along a street, you feel at ease, you're feeling safe and comfortable. But after turning the corner to another street, something suddenly doesn't feel all right. What just happened? It could have been something that popped up in your mind, but it could also have been the streetscape in itself that has affected you. My name is Thomas Höjemo, and I am a PhD student in architecture at Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Sul in Porto Alegre in Brazil. My research focuses on how the environment affects us when we are walking in the streets, squares and parks of cities. I'm curious to know more about how we choose to walk or not to walk, depending on how the environments around us are configured. If we have walkable environments around us, we walk more. As we walk more, we become healthier. Research shows that people living in walkable neighborhoods move considerably more frequently on foot compared to those living in less walkable neighborhoods. We also know for a fact that walking at a fast pace at least two hours per week drastically reduces the risk of premature death. So how come then that our cities are not better suited to move about on foot? Let's make a comparison with planning for car transport, where we plan everything from large motorways to small city streets, depending on travel needs. However, also when we were walking, we have diversified demands on the urban environment, depending on our needs. Moving about on foot can be everything from strolling, browsing shops, wandering in parks, to power walking or a rapid dash to get from A to B. But these diverse needs are not always catered for in urban and traffic planning, which often encompasses a rather shallow view on walking. This simplistic perspective in its turn leads to an unidimensional planning of walking environments. There is a need for a more nuanced picture, which takes into account the different types of walking in order to better plan for everyone moving about on foot. This was one of the conclusions of the interviews I did with four professionals from completely different fields in Gothenburg in the summer of 2016. These interviews led to the report, the status of walking in a policy and planning, views from different professions, issued by Mr. Urban Futures and its project Urban Station Communities. The next step will be to widen the knowledge of which urban streetscapes elements that make us enjoy walking. So I look forward to report the continuation of my research further on. And finally, I would like to thank Mr. Urban Futures and its project Urban Station Communities that made it possible to reach out with my research in this manner. <laughs>